Well, there's a Minnesota connection to the captivating untold story of African American women who worked as human computers at NASA. You have identification on it? NASA, sir. NASA? I had no idea they hired. There are quite a few women working in the space program. The least I can do is give y'all an escort. The movie Hidden Figures reveals their critical role in launching an astronaut into space. As WCCO's Jennifer Merrily reports, one member of the team was the grandmother of a local professor. We're shooting a human into space and it's never been done before. The real story behind Hidden Figures is part of McAllister College professor Duchess Harris's family history. And so the first source of pride was in 1963, my grandmother got a letter, and it's on NASA letterhead, and it says, thank you for 20 years of service. Duchess's given name is Miriam, after her grandmother, Miriam Mann, a mathematician hired by NASA in 1943. During World War II, only white men had worked at NASA, but they all went off to war. So they looked to the all-black Hampton College for women with enough education. Man was 36 and a mother of three. She and 10 other women passed, and that was the beginning. Yeah. What do you guys do for NASA? Calculate your launch and landing site. So what they were doing was computations that helped the engineers. The engineers would do mathematical work. The movie also portrays the real racial divide. In it, it's Kevin Costner's character who takes down a segregation sign. But Harris knows the backstory. My grandmother used to take the colored signs down because the bathrooms were segregated. She'd steal them, she'd bring them home, and then she and my grandfather would fight at the dinner table about it because he was scared that she would get fired. She is glad Hidden Figures is putting this part of history in the spotlight. Also dedicated to sharing it, Harris co-wrote a book for 6th to 12th graders, Hidden Human Computers, the Black Women of NASA. This is what basically got us to where we are now. You know, there's a lot of family pride. And man's work helped make it possible for John Glenn to orbit the Earth in 1962. She was there when he thanked the human computers for their work. And she worked at NASA until 1966. She died the next year. Harris never had a chance to meet her grandmother. She was born two years later. But an exhibit will be unveiled Saturday dedicated to the human computers at 10 o'clock at the Science Museum of Minnesota. Harris will be on hand to sign books and to talk to folks there. How wonderful. I, I love this. It's such a fascinating part of our history that I never knew about, and it's an important part, too. So. Yeah, it's so weird that we didn't know about this for 40-plus yeah. years. It's great that we're all learning about it now, yeah. and yeah. Minnesotans have a great chance to learn I, even more this weekend so and for some weeks to come. And you saw the movie. You loved it. Saw the movie. Loved it. So did I. Right. I was oh, captivated. Did. Well, I go see. Did as well. Captivated, and now yeah. even more so. Yeah.